Hi there, this is Harold and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how the iPad 2019 could be your next laptop. To complete our setup, we will need the following accessories. A Bluetooth keyboard designed for the 10.2 inch model. And for our pointing device, we will need a Bluetooth mouse. On September 2019, Apple released the 7th generation of iPad. It has a 10.2 inch screen, and what's new here is the additional support for Apple's smart keyboard. The one I am using right now is a Wi Fi only model, Space Gray, with 128 gigs of storage. Now to make the iPad look and feel like a proper laptop, we will attach and pair to it a Bluetooth keyboard. This keyboard made by Bridge has a dedicated home button, lock, brightness, multimedia keys, Siri button, and there is a backlight, which is very useful especially when you are working late at night. It has a nice tactile feedback and the keys are well spaced which makes touch typing very comfortable. Its hinge is perfectly designed for the 10.2 inch model and it matches the color of the iPad itself. There are rubber pads on the hinge and gives the iPad's retina display a laptop-like articulation up to 180 degrees. Now here's how it looks like on the side and here's how it looks like when it's closed. Now for our pointing device, we will pair a Bluetooth mouse to the iPad. Although the mouse pointer in iPad OS 13.4 is circular in shape, few minutes of usage will be enough for anyone to get used to it. Now you can use the mouse pointer as you go about your work. There are some useful mouse gestures available such as showing the dock, showing the desktop, showing the multitasking window. You can also close an app. You can switch to a different app and even display the notification screen. Now at work, I heavily use the Reminders app as it helps me stay on track and not miss any task that needs my attention. I use Pages for writing down reports, taking meeting minutes, and writing down supplementary files for any projects that I am working on or need further attention. For presentation, I use Keynote to open slideshows, or to create my own slideshows for company presentations, reports, and workshop. And to complete the suite, I also have numbers for processing spreadsheets. On a personal level, I use the iPad for writing journals, writing blogs, writing product reviews, buying stuff online, for reading books and taking down notes simultaneously, for listening to podcasts, listening to music, watching videos from YouTube, and of course, I also use the iPad for content creation such as the video that you are watching right now which I created via iMovie. Additionally, if you want more immersive sound, you can pair it with a Bluetooth speaker. Or if you're a student who writes a lot or an artist that loves to draw, there is the Apple Pencil. And if you want to work on a larger screen, there is an HDMI adapter that you can also purchase as an add-on. So. If you are looking for an ultra-portable computer to write emails, documents, reports, blogs, presentations, make music, edit videos, read books, listen to music, watch movies, and many other things, the iPad 2019 could be your next laptop. Again, this is Harold and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and I'll see you on the next one.